Welcome to week seven. Seven. Quite a lot has happened to be honest with you. I have to go back and re-watch my week six just to see what had happened. So in the last episode it looks like they'd started upstairs uh, ripping things out and there was lots of things going on upstairs but there's a lot more been happening since then. So literally the day after I filmed that last clip the builders then started on the dormers. So we, they first of all started on the dormers, but they're trying to keep the original roof on so that um, everything inside can stay waterproof. Because I don't know if you can hear, but we have got a bit of rain today for the first time in weeks. Like my grass is desperate for it. So they, yeah, they started to do the dormers, which I'll show you in a sec. So one very noticeable thing that happened is they removed the OSB temporary wall back into the opening of the window so this meant that i could fully see how big this room is it is an actual joke how big it is i love it obviously but i'm just shocked like honestly it makes if you have a look at the original kitchen and how because you can see the original kitchen walls here to here It makes the previous kitchen look tiny. So pretty much that whole wall is gonna be utility room and kitchen space. And I measured as well the island. So I'll pop up by here and show you um, how big the island is gonna be with the tape measure. So that's pretty big as well. Actually, I think it might be the same length as those pine things there. Three meters is gonna be, so pretty big. So yeah, this room is massive. So this is our temporary kitchen at the moment. So it's working all right for us at the moment. It was disgustingly dirty. So I gave it a real good clean the other day. Um, well, yesterday actually. But yeah, we've still got a fully working washing machine. We've got a line out in the garden, which is great. And we've got full, full functioning sink and tap, which is great. So for us, washing our dishes at the moment, it's just so much easier. And then the builders also brought in their own fridge, which is full of their drinks, because obviously it's so hot here at the moment. So it means that they can have nice, cool drinks, which I felt bad because I was looking at their milk on the weekend, thinking, oh, it's going a bit, a bit clumpy over there. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the temporary kitchen. And the boiler, we had the boiler renewed in 2021. So that's pretty new. It's a wash just a wash Worcestershire Bosch, oh my god that is a mouthful, um, boiler, so as soon as the work's done we need to have that service because it's not cheap to fix your boiler these days guys. So let me take you into the living room. Okay so this room is kind of like a dumping ground at the moment which is fine I think because there's not loads of things happening in here like most things happening in the kitchen area obviously because it's a kitchen so there'll be lots of works happening in there. Whereas this room is pretty much like, it needs plastering, it needs screed on the floor, um, and it needs a bit of like chimney breast repair, but I don't know if I'm just gonna cover it with plasterboard yet. But it is pretty much a dumping ground, but it's a good, it's a good place to have somewhere to pop all the stuff. So all the insulation has arrived. I'm not sure if this is going in the eaves. I feel like I, ha I don't know if it's going in the eaves because It's a lot of insulation just for the eaves when I'm I've got I've got plans for all the eaves once the house is done. Like I eventually want to start turning the eaves into like storage holes so that you know you don't have to have wardrobe space, you could just have the eaves. So I'm hoping it's not for the eaves and then it's going in all the noggins in the floor joists. But I suppose I'll have to ask the builders. Yeah, we've got tons and tons of this. And then a few boards of insulation, uh, that's 100 millimetres. Uh, but yeah, so this is how this front room is looking at the moment. It's just a dumping ground. As you can see over here, like all of this is the parquet flooring, which I really need to put on Facebook Marketplace. So bags and bags of parquet flooring um, and just some other bits and bobs. The ship window for anyone who loves the ship window. 
and at these doors I'm pretty sure they're original I hope they're original because I'm keeping them um and I'd hate to keep them if they weren't but uh because they're not they're all right they're all right there's nothing much to them but I think I'll get new handles and everything for them as well so keeping all that and then we've got a wardrobe just around there which has got some stuff in it this is going to be the first bedroom and this is how big our hallway is like it's pretty good size I just can't wait to be coming in here and going oh, put my keys down here I'm gonna have like I want to have kind of like built-in cupboard space here so I can put coats and shoes in and it's like completely away from the rest of the house um and yeah then you can have like a bench here with like a little side table to pop your keys in and stuff like that um but there's I'll bring the camera around now but there's loads of space like by here um I'm not sure if we're gonna move the gas heater or not but if we do then then I won't put anything there but if we do leave the gas meter there I'm gonna build in something built in to hide it but then I've also got all this space underneath it that could be used for shelving or shoes or anything so yeah this is the hallway at the moment this from this angle but then we've also got all of this space here that could also be like a a shallow storage unit with for coats shoes and bags so we have got ample amount of storage here okay so I'm back up is to measure the box room because one thing that I've been really conscious about since we had the plans done is that this is going to be too small and that when they come to value the house they're going to say it's not a four bed it's a three bed because how small this is but obviously got to account for stud walls and plasterboard and, and doors and everything but it doesn't look as small as I thought so I'm bringing my measure, tape measure up with me um and if I pop up the plan here for this this little box room, it seems though, it seems as though, sorry, that it comes, if you look where the steel beam is, it's there. And on the plans, uh, the little bedroom doesn't quite reach where the steel beam is. So I'm going to say perhaps where that, that bolt is there is where the end of the room will be so some of it will have this um sloped ceiling and then the rest of it is going to be in the dormer space so i'm going to go ahead and measure that and um just see kind of like what we're working with can we get a single bed in there like what what's the deal um at the end of the day if a bed goes in a bed goes in in my opinion so yeah gonna see what that's like now so what i think will happen is from where that double joist is that's where the wall will come up so I'm wondering can we go a bit more into the eaves to match with this dormer so that you could have a bed running all the way along there rather than the bed going oops like that um as per the drawer in so let me just measure this now and I'll let you know what the measurements are so I don't know if you can see but I drew this little diagram here of the fourth bedroom so it's eight foot nine at the widest part by six foot eleven at the widest part so it is actually going to be a mega small room um so i don't know whether to cut into the back bedroom just that little bit more so that it's more like yeah like 10 foot by six foot eleven i'm still trying to debate whether to make it a little bit bigger is going to be worth it or not but I think once everything's up there, maybe speak to the builders, and see what their opinion is on it all and kind of see if, it, if they think it's worth cutting into the master bedroom to get a better dimension or if it's better to have like three big bedrooms and a middle bedroom. So I'm not 100% sure, but it looks bigger than I thought it was going to be in my head. But in our last house, we lived in a three bed new build and the third bedroom was tiny. And this is smaller than that so i need to have a real good think okay so i'm just upstairs now doing a little bit of measurements so according to plans this bedroom on this side will be 410 centimeters so that wide so it's quite a lot of space there. remember obviously there's reduced head height up until like those two there that's where the wall will, will begin i think but yeah so that i put staples there that is the width of a king size bed and we've still got 
150 centimeters there and how many centimeters there 300 yeah another 110 centimeters this side so i'm thinking like you could potentially lose just a bit more over here to get that middle bedroom that little bedroom sorry like a bit bigger in ratio because if we've gone half a meter out this way we could even go half a meter out in that bedroom and this room would actually stay the same as what was on the plans or we could have you know make the most of it and have a bigger bedroom so not really sure but i can't believe like it make that's that is surely that's not a king size bed so i've measured out 150 centimeters so let me know if you think that that seems about right but yeah so i thought i'd just show you like that's the where we're hoping the wall will come up to and then on this side of the room the bedroom will come all the way up until where that osb is so this side so there'll be like a cut here oop, where that bedroom is and then there'll be will come we'll have all this space all this space here all this space here all this space here but obviously it's looking bigger than it it it's looking bigger now because obviously the um we're going right into the eaves here but I'm, i believe where there's doubled up joists that's where the wall will be so just from looking at the plans so yeah it'll stop come down like that so yeah i'm just gonna go measure the other side of the room because I'm, I'm i'm putting like projected versus actual measurements um obviously all these measurements will change a little bit anyway because of the plasterboard the insulation everything like that but i'm just getting a little bit excited about everything so i'm just like making making sure i know the dimensions for everything to look at flooring and stuff like that this is where we're at i'm upstairs now and as you can see behind me There is an actual upstairs, so if I look at last week's video, it's not the same. There's nothing up here. I couldn't even see the back bedroom. So I will show you exactly what's been going on up here now. Okay, so I need to be careful because there's not flooring or boards down everywhere. So I just need to try and stay where there is boards. So they've put this OSB here. Um, I'm not sure what OSB stands for, but I know it's like chipboard. Um, and the OS and then it's board. No, I don't know what it stands for, but if you hear OSB, it's this material here. So they just put that there to ensure that the uh, dormers are waterproof. So at the moment we've got this barrier stuff up on the dormers to try and keep everything in. We have had a little bit of rain over the weekend and I can't see any water damage. Okay, so this is gonna be the front bedroom. There'll be a apex dormer here, and that's what the steel beam out there is for. You can just see it poking down there. That's the steel beam out the front. So yeah, this will be the front bedroom. There'll be an apex dormer here, and then over here you'll have reduced head height wall with one window, and there will be a wall there going into the bathroom. That'll be the bathroom. So it's a very, very narrow wall there with just one window over this side. Obviously, we'll have shaped glass in the apex dormer over here. And then mirroring the other side, we'll have the sloped ceiling there with one window. So there'll be three windows in this front bedroom, but quite a lot of the walls will be obviously reduced head height. But it will be a pretty decent sized room. So like I said, it'll come up to here, this window here. And then these are the steel beams, which classes the hallway. And then you will go through here to get to the bathroom over there, the box room over there, and the master bedroom out the back. So let me just move you through. Okay, so this is where the bathroom will be. So what we're thinking is, so this will be the door in. And the builders were thinking having the bath there, the vanity unit under the window, because you've got to really uh, think about when you open the door, what's going to be right in front of you. We don't really want the toilet. So they've suggested that the vanity unit goes there, the toilet goes there, and then a cubicle shower is over here. But I was thinking maybe you could have the toilet behind the door, 
vanity unit there where the wall is so that you can have a mirror on the wall. And then maybe the basin under the window. And when I say basin, I mean a bath. And then the shower over here in this side. Um, potentially, because I think it'd be quite nice. Oh, that's, that's not secure. So it'd be quite nice to have the bath under the window so that you can have mirrors on the wall over the sink. But until the walls are constructed, it's really difficult to know exactly how much room you've got for everything. This little box room in the previous video. Um, yeah, I think the box room will come from there to there to there to about there. Reduced head height here to there. And then it'll have a big window in it there. So it'll be a very small room, but it'll still be a bedroom. Okay, so that, that is my week seven video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this roof transformation because it's been getting me really excited and I'm just loving coming up here and measuring things and seeing where things might go. Um, that's kind of like exciting part that I've been uh, looking forward to. But yeah, a lot has changed this week and you can start to really see things come together, which is, uh, like I said, exciting so our main contractor is on his honeymoon for a few weeks so i'm not really sure what the poa is on the works in the next few weeks um but yeah that is week seven so if you like these type of videos guys then please give me a subscribe uh, let me know in the comments what you liked about this episode and if you've got any questions on the build itself i will try and answer and if i can't i'll ask the builders and, and then i can answer you then but yeah thank you so much for watching if you've got this far and i will see you in week eight.